given question the cylinder rolls on the support without slippage determine the equation of the motion for the cylinder with mass m and radius r let us understand the given system a cylinder with mass m and radius r rolls on a fixed support it is connected to the two springs as shown in the diagram and we have to find out the natural frequency we are going to solve this problem by using energy method and now we have to find out the kinetic energy as well as potential energy in the system so when this cylinder rolls then there is the linear displacement of the center o through a distance x and there is also angular displacement theta so we have to show that so we will first draw here one line that is passing through the center and here is the original position of the center o now when it rolls through a angular displacement theta then where is the final position so we will again draw here one line that is passing through the final position of the cylinder and this is the vertical line passing through the center so here is this o dash now if i extend this center line passing through o then this is the original position o so this distance that is o to o dash is linear displacement x and we have to show this now we will find out the relation in between x and angular displacement theta so we will consider this point q on the circumference of the circle now this q located that is on the circumference which is the line passing through the center o now when the cylinder rolls through an angle theta where there is the final position so i will draw here or i will extend this center line for the final position so this point of intersection is the final position q dash now we will join this o to q dash so this is the angular displacement theta now we know that this o to q dash is radius r now if i make here one construction line passing through q dash we will draw here one perpendicular line and this point of intersection is point a now in this triangle oa q dash if we observe here is the angle theta and r and this a to q q dash is x so how we can explain this x or how we can write this x so x is equal to r sin theta but this theta is very small so we can write here x is equal to r theta now we will consider this point on this horizontal line that is connected to the two springs so here this point we will consider as a point r so here is the original position of the point r so if we observe the original position of point r is here now when the cylinder rotates to an angle theta then there is also the linear displacement so we will consider the final position of r is here that is r dash so i will show this so here is the angle theta where this cylinder is getting rotated now this distance from o to this r that is uh, we will say this vertical distance is not given in the question but we will consider this so if we observe this o dash to r distance we will consider as a b because it is small this line o dash to r is smaller than this radius r so if we observe these springs are connected that is not from the circumference point on the circumference but below that and that's why we will consider the another letter that is the small b so we will consider this vertical distance o dash to r as a b now again in this triangle o dash r r dash we have to find out this displacement r to r dash so how we can find out this so r to r dash distance that is nothing but this b sin theta so this is due to the rotary motion on this line 
so r to r dash is equal to b sin theta now this theta is very small so we can say that r to r dash is equal to b theta now we get this linear displacement as a r theta x is equal to r theta and this angular displacement on this line that is r to r dash as a b theta when the cylinder rolls on a fixed support then the amount by which the first spring is stretched is equal to the amount by which the second spring will compress so we we'll consider here one notation delta that is the deflection in the each spring so how we can define this deflection delta in each spring so it is due to the linear motion as well as rotary motion so linear motion that is linear displacement x is equal to r theta and rotary motion because of the rotary motion we will consider this deflection r to r dash so here r to r dash is nothing but b theta so we have to add this so delta that is the deflection in each spring is equal to r theta plus b theta that is equal to r plus b bracket complete theta now when we observe the energy equation then total energy is equal to translational kinetic energy plus rotary kinetic energy that is total kinetic energy plus potential energy is equal to constant so first we will find out the translational kinetic energy so it is due to displacement or we can say linear displacement x so we know that translational kinetic energy is equal to half mv square but we can write here the velocity in terms of displacement that is half mx dot square but x is equal to r theta so again x dot is equal to theta dot so we will put here the value half m r square theta dot square now what about the rotary kinetic energy so kinetic energy rotary that is equal to half i theta dot square so instead of m we have to use mass moment of inertia i and instead of x that is linear displacement we have to use theta dot that is theta dot square so again here i that is the mass moment of inertia of cylinder m r square by 2 so we have to put this value and we have to simplify this so 1 by 4 m r square theta dot square now we will move to the potential energy so we know that potential energy is due to the energy stored in the spring so how we can define this potential energy so this a uh, half multiplied by the spring stiffness k multiplied by the deflection in the spring so delta is the deflection in each spring so how we can write so for this first spring potential energy we will write half multiplied by the stiffness k multiplied by delta square now in the same way we can write here as a half k delta square so we can say that two times half k delta square is the potential energy due to the two springs so we will write here potential energy is equal to 2 into half into k delta square but this delta we will write in terms of r and b so r plus b theta so how we can write here delta square that is k is this 2 and half is getting cancelled k r plus b bracket square theta square now again if we observe the kinetic energy that is the total kinetic energy is the addition of translational ke and rotational ke so when we add these two then m r square theta dot square is the common term and this half plus 1 by 4 is equal to 3 by 4 so we can use this so again we will put this uh, total kinetic energy and this potential energy in this energy equation and we will simplify this now we will write total energy u is equal to 3 by 4 m r square theta dot square plus k r plus b bracket square theta square is equal to constant now this theta and theta dot are the variables so this varies with respect to time t so we will differentiate this equation with respect to time t so total energy du by dt is equal to 3 by 4 m r square is constant term so we will keep as it is now how to differentiate this theta dot square 
that is 2 theta dot theta double dot where theta dot is equal to d theta by dt and theta double dot is d square theta by dt square plus now this k r plus b bracket square is the constant term so we will keep as it is now for this theta square we will write 2 theta theta double dot and constant is equal to constant so which is equal to 0 now we will simplify this so if we observe this theta dot and theta dot is the common term so we will take common and we will transfer to the right hand side so it is getting cancelled now here 2 and here is 4 so we will write here as a 2 so 3 by 2 mr square theta double dot plus k r plus b bracket square 2 theta is equal to 0 now coefficient of theta double dot is 3 by 2 mr square so we will divide by this coefficient to the whole equation so it will become theta double dot plus k r plus b square now here 2 2 and this 2 will become 4 because this denominator 2 will transfer to the numerator so it is equal to 4 divided by 3 mr square into theta is equal to 0 now if we compare this with x double dot plus omega n square x is equal to 0 then theta double dot is angular acceleration x double dot is linear acceleration theta angular displacement x linear displacement so we can write here omega n is equal to under root of this whole term that is coefficient of theta so we have formula for natural frequency in terms of omega n that is fn is equal to omega n by 2 pi so we will write here fn is equal to 1 by 2 pi under root of 4k r plus b bracket square divided by 3 mr square and it's a unit is hertz.